Hi students, today we are going to solve two questions from percentage and one question from profit and loss. Let us check the first question. Total emoluments of two persons are same. In this question, two persons are there. We can name it as P1 and P2. But one gets allowances to the extent of 65 percentage of his basic pay and the other gets allowances to the extent of 80 percentage of his basic pay. So, here two quantities are there. One is their enhanced salary, it is called as emolument. Another one is their basic pay. So, their total emoluments or enhanced salary of these two persons are same. That is E1 is equal to E2. And where is the difference? Their basic pay differs. Okay. Let us call their basic pay as B1 and B2. Now, their emoluments are calculated after considering the, their allowances on their basic pay. So, one first person get first person gets their basic pay plus 65 percentage additional allowance on their basic pay. So, 65 percentage of basic pay. Whereas, second person gets their enhanced salary as basic pay, his basic pay plus 80 percentage of his basic pay. Okay. We need to find out the ratio of B1 and B2. E1 and E2 are same. Okay. So, here we will get 165 percentage of B1 and 180 percentage of B2. Since it is given as E1 equal to E2, we will get 165 percentage of B1 equal to 180 percentage of B2. Okay. Solving, we will get 1 by B2 equal to 36 by 33 or 12 by 11. We will get the ratio as 12 is to B1 is to B2 equal to 12 is to 11. Answer will be option D. Next question, a gardener increased the area of its rectangular garden by increasing its length by 40 percentage and decreasing its width by 20 percentage. So, a rectangular garden is there. We know that a rectangle contains one length and a breadth. Okay. So, he increase, increased the length of his rectangular garden by 40 percentage. 40 percentage increase in length of this rectangular garden and 20 percentage decrease in breadth of the garden. Okay. So, that here a formula, a shortcut formula is there to do this problem a plus b plus a b by 100. We need to find out the total change or the percentage total change in the area of this rectangular garden due to the change of this percentage length, length and breadth. Okay. So, here a is the percentage increase or decrease in length, b is the percentage increase or decrease in breadth. Okay. While we are taking the increase in percentage, just take it as positive. And if you take the decrease in percentage, then take it as negative. So, here the quantities A will be plus 40 percentage and B will be minus 20 percentage. So, that we will get A plus B plus AB by 100 equal to 40 plus minus 20 plus 40 into minus 20 by 100. Okay. 20 plus minus 8, we will get plus 12 percentage. What, what this plus indicates? This plus indicates that the area of this rectangular garden is 
increased by 12 percentage. Okay, so what will be your answer? Option B will be your answer. The area of the new garden has increased by 12 percentage. Okay, this same formula A plus B plus AB by 100 can be applied in profit and loss also. Okay, if two consecutive profit percentage is given or if two consecutive loss percentage is given or either if one two consecutive profit and lo, uh, loss percentage alternatively if it is given then we can apply this formula A plus B plus AB by 100. Okay. If 10 percentage profit on one 10 percentage profit is applied on one product and after that 20 percentage loss is applied on one product then we can apply like this plus 10 minus 20 plus 10 into minus 20 by 100 and we will get minus 10 minus 2 equal to minus 12 percentage as the loss on loss percentage on that product that this will be the resultant loss percentage on this product according to this formula. You can apply this formula on profit and loss also. Next question is from profit and loss. If Sohan while selling two gods at same price makes a profit of 10 percentage on one god and suffers a loss of 10 percentage on the other. Here two gods are there. Let, let the name of that gods be G1 and G2. Okay. It is said that selling price of these two gods are same. Let their selling price be S1 and S2 respectively. Okay. Selling price of these two gods are same and we, ha we have given no information about the cost price of these two gods and we need to find out whether he makes a profit or loss percentage in his transaction while selling these two gods. Okay. So, what about cost price C1 and C2? That first we need to find out. We need to find out any relation about these cost prices C1 and C2. According to the selling of first god, it is said that the selling price of first god equal to cost price plus 10 percentage profit on this cost price. Okay. So, 10 percentage profit on this cost price. Selling price of first got is cost price plus 10 percentage profit on that cost price. Okay. What about selling price of second got? Selling price of second got is cost price of second got minus 10 percentage loss on cost price of second got. Okay. Eventually, we will get 110 percentage of C1 and S2 equal to 90 percentage of C2. It is given that S1 equal to S2. So, that we can equate that one S1 equal to S2 we will get 110 percentage of C1 equal to 90 percentage of C2. So, what will be the ratio of C1 and C2? C1 by C2 equal to 90 by 110 equal to 9 by 11. So, here there was no information given about cost price of these two gods. So, we now got the ratio of cost price of got 1 and got 2 as 9 by 11. Okay. Now, we can assume any two cost prices for these two gods in this ratio 9 is to 11. Okay. So, that I am taking let the C1 let it be 90 and C2 let it be 110. Just multiply here with 10 so that our calculation will be easy. Okay. Cost price of first got is 90 and cost price of second got it got is 110. Now, we know that selling price of first got will be 90 plus 10 percentage of cost price. 90 plus 10 percentage of cost, uh, cost price will be 90 plus 9 that is 99. C2 is 110 and S2 will be C2 minus 10 percentage of C2. 
C2 minus 10 percentage of C2 is 11. 110 minus 11, we will get 99. So, S1 equal to S2, both are 99. Okay, now we can do our calculation. Cost, total cost price of these two goods will be 200 and total selling price of these two goods will be 198. Okay. So, cost price, total cost price is 200 and total selling price is 198, which means that he lost 2 rupees in his transaction. Okay. He lost 2 rupees. So, that percentage loss equal to loss percentage loss divided by cost price into 100. Okay. So, 2 divided by 2 rupees divided by 200 into 100 equal to 1 percentage loss. So, he lost 1 percentage in his whole transaction. Your answer will be, correct answer will be option C. He suffers a loss of 1 percentage. There is another formula, direct formula to fall, uh, solve this problem. 100 P minus L minus 2 P L divided by 100 plus P plus 100 minus L. This is the formula where P indicates the profit percentage and L indicates the loss percentage. Okay. Here 100 into P minus L is 10 minus 10 minus 2 into 10 into 10 divided by 100 plus 10 plus 100 minus 10. This we can cut equal to minus 2 into 100 divided by 110 plus 90 is 200 equal to minus 1 percentage. Minus indicates that he, he is having a loss in this whole transaction, 1 percentage loss in this whole transaction. Okay.